Rusky's Crypto Cave, and today we're going to build the 8x CMP100-210 rig. Um, we got them all repasted last night. We got all the parts, got the cool box two fan controllers in here. And the three more fans to install in the back. There's a fan controller, that's a fan controller. Different USB cables, fan extension cables. All that fun stuff is in here. Currently in the process of removing all this blue shit. It's a royal pain in the ass. Nah, but I started it, so I'm going to finish it. But I need to get all that done. So I'm going to work on that, and then we'll be back. All right, you get all the blue stuff off. And actually, I started taking the screws out of the first fan, because these are getting flipped to the outside. Um, but so far, looks pretty good. So I'm going to keep on working here, getting these fans flipped around and uh, get it set up just like I had the last one. That one seemed to work out pretty well. So I'm going with this. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? Alrighty, the fans are flipped around on the outside and all screwed in. Uh, I just screwed, put the screws in the top and then through the bottom. It should be alright. That's how the other one is too and it's fine. Uh, just because it's a little... A little tight in here. That's not too bad there, but once you get over here, it's going to be pretty bad. But uh, So I might just put one or two, one here, one here, one there, or something. Maybe just help them out a little bit, but uh, I might be running out of fan screws. I do have like a little kit here. Got a one, two, three, about ten black ones left, three silver ones. May have to rob some from open air frames in the basement, which I should have some, but for the most part... It should be fine. Get some paper out of here. But you do have to remove the handle. Uh, this handle gets in the way. Uh, it will not fit there with the fans on the outside. So I, I had to do that with the other one as well. But pretty much our drive's in already. Pretty much kind of ready to go. Uh, just got to start putting some cards in. Maybe tidy up these wires a little bit. Get them tucked down here. Get them out of the way. But other than that, it's probably just start plopping some cards in. I do gotta install the fans on the back. Uh, so I actually might do that first. Just so I have easier access to put the screws in there. Um, get them installed. Because those are those goes right, those guys right there, which I've linked in the description below to Amazon where I bought them. I think they're 20 bucks a piece, something like that. Not, not too terrible, like 5,300 RPM fans, I believe. So more than enough to pump the air through here. Especially now the summer's starting to wind down. We've got about a month, month and a half left of high temps. And it'll start cooling down. Uh, so that's why I'm going to be having the fan controller in to help uh, control the fan speed so they don't have to be cranking it 100% the whole time. So I'm going to do the same thing with the foam insulation board in between the cards as well. Uh, so I have to get, get pieces of that to get cut up and stuff. So... Uh, but I'm going to keep on working, and uh, we'll, we'll be back with some more progress. Making some progress. Got the back fans installed. I have the fan controller dismounted out here for now. It's just kind of sitting there. I want to get all of these cables routed and stuff like that and see where I'm going to have the extra for the 6-pin. Because I do have an extension for the 6-pin power plug if I need to. Um, may not need it. May move this back in so on and so forth but that could be easily moved around uh, I just want to get all the cards laid out so far I got two installed and I got a bunch of whole oh, bunch of PCIe's but it's actually just enough with the one left over for the uh, the fan controller so I'm gonna keep on going and we'll be back when all the cards are in already all the cards are in uh, I still have the fan controller sitting there I'm gonna see how that works and I think it should be fine. Uh, that way it gets more stuff out of here. But everything is wired up. Looks good. I double checked all the six pin connectors and eight pins just to make sure they're all snug and tight. And they are. So time to go out and shed and fire it up. And then hop on MMPOS and see if it should show up because I think uh, backwards miner. Um, set up the NVMe 
or the M2 drive, I should say, until uh, before even shipped it to me. Uh, so I appreciate that. Make this part easier. So, uh, I guess PC moment of truth. Alrighty, we got her out in the shed. Getting ready to power on for the first time. Here we go. Hands are balling. HTD light is blinking, so it looks like hopefully we're loading into NMPOS. Uh, let's go back inside, hop on MMPOS, and see if she's recognized. Alrighty, we're back in the house here in, in MMPOS. Here is the rig. Let me make sure. Let's go back. Nice. They're all the good BIOS, too. That's pretty sweet. That's not what I wanted to do, though. I wanted to check to see 07 clappers. We're going to do o octo underscore 08 underscore clappers 2. So we're going to go in, name of rig, I'm going to do underscore, Jesus, I can't freaking type, update. Now, the first thing I should probably do, I'm going to open up Putty, 192.168.50.2, except minor. Then... Now, once we're in, we're going to do MMP space update and then MMP space upgrade. So this might take a few minutes. Whoops. What does that say? Oh, okay. Whatever. That's because I changed the name. Uh, we're going to hit yes. Not that. So this is going to go through and update the, the agent and the OS and all that good stuff. Um, so we're, it's going to take a, take a little bit. So um, I'm going to stop recording and come back when it is finished. Alrighty, we are back. It is updated. And as you can see, the Coolbox 2 uh, drivers and all that stuff were installed because now we have the system fans here. So I'm going to sign them on our profile. And shoot, I'm just going to put these on Zealous. Actually, I'm going to do this first. I'm going to do load a preset. Apply similar. It's going to put it the same overclocks to all of them. And then we're going to save. So what these overclocks are is a 985 locked core, memory offset of 300, and locked memory of 810, which on the CMP cards, you can't really lock the memory at anything else other than 810. So it is what it is there. So now I'm going to assign a minor profile. Uh, it's going to be Zealous. We're going to hit switch. And I do have... this up so it is applied the overclocks connecting to the pool and there is a accepted share so we are mining up and running which is good go back to these guys this should update momentarily here Uh, yeah, agent 4.0.10, 
that is on the most recent. Miragel Miner 1.18.1. Temps are fantastic as of now, but I just started. So let's get, let's see what they are in here. Temps are all in the 40s, 50s. That is a freaking great. Definitely not complaining about that. Let's go back to the rig. Rig settings, default. System fan management, fixed fan speed. There we go. So we are up, hashing away on Zealous. Uh, it's 276.9 kilohash, 912 watts. Let's go, let's we'll see where I got hash rate dot no here. So I'll throw a little flashbang. 276.3 or whatever it was. 912, 2% minor fee. It's profitable, not much, but hey, 74 cents is better than nothing. So. I won't bitch. Well, you can always bitch about something, but hey, I'll take it. So we'll see how it performs. Let it run for a while, and then we'll check back in there. But um, not expecting anything negative or so. So I uh, think should be going well. So that's it. Another card, another rig up and running. Got some GPUs up and going. Um, Zealous did pump recently, so uh, so we have a nice little pump. But Zealous is back over eight bucks. Uh, so definitely not going to complain about that. Uh, let's see if I get flashbangies and sorry about that. Ooh, dark mode, dark mode, dark mode. There it is. It shows live on the pool already as well. I'm going to turn dark reader off. It is off. Yeah. yeah, it's off. There we go. Okay, it was boogering up that chart. So... Ooh, this shows us down to 750, so it must have tanked a bit. But either way, it did did go up somewhat. It was hovering in the, hot, in the high fives, low sixes for a while. So mid sevens, I'll take it. Um, I did have some sell orders, um, and just to blow eight bucks. And uh, sort of coins I did have sitting on trade over, those did go through, and they did sell. So. Uh, I, I took those profits, and I actually had some sell orders for the coins that I did mine. I had the sell order for like anywhere from ten to twenty cents higher than what I mined it at. So um, did make a, a little bit on that. Not much, but a hey, profit is profit. So pretty much, basically, just recoup the fees and then some, and then just to help cover the withdrawal fees because I've been switching it to Litecoin, and then shipping the Litecoin off to Kraken. Um, actually, the last withdrawal of Litecoin from Trade Ogre, I actually withdrew to my Tangem just to save it and hold on to it for a little bit. So it was only a little, it was only like one point something Litecoin. So not much, but um, I have some Litecoin scattered about, some in Zellcore, some in Coinbase. So I have a few of them, don't have a ton. So it is what it is. But maybe I'll stack a few while, while the price is down on it. And if it gets to 100 bucks, then sell it. So we'll see. But anyway, that's all for this video. We got this bad boy up and running. Finally, it's been I've been sitting on it for shit, freaking two months, whatever the hell it's been. It's been a while, it's been too long. So, um, but they are up in the hash and away, um, and they are profitable, not by much, but hey, profits profit. So it is what it is. So um, until next video, we'll catch you later.